This is Jackie, and I'm here with the KB Shakedown Day 4. Bonner, are you hanging tough? We're hanging hard. You know okay. how it is. Throughout the rain, trying to bring the fire. Yeah. I like that. I like that attitude. We're going to see what this weather does for the rest of the day. We're gonna... Fingers crossed. Oh, fingers crossed. Yeah. You all are from New York City. We are from yeah. New York City. New York is a, especially the city, is a very music-dense city. How do you guys stand out among all the music crowd? I think we try to bring something unique. You know, it's the concept of a lot of different influences coming in. There's a lot of soul music, which we love, and a lot of instrumental cinematic scores that we think are really cool. And so combining all of that with some of the leanings towards real raw funk that we have just based deep, deep within a lot of the music that we've played, for us, it's creating that amalgam that really makes something special, something Absolutely. unique to the scene. And we've been uh, writing a lot cooperatively, which also brings that unique aspect because, you know, we have seven of us with a bunch of different influences. And we bring that all to the table, writing together in a rehearsal studio slash recording studio. So that, that adds another really unique aspect. What are some of your favorite live venues in New York City to either perform or attend a show? I mean, Bowery Ballroom and Rough Trade are ridiculous. It goes all the way up to the Apollo and the Beacon. I mean, there are shows you see at MSG, and sometimes you take a break during that show, and you look around and you say... This is MSG. Like, no matter what you're seeing there, it sort of takes on that unique feel. But, you know, for us, places like, you know, we've loved playing at Brooklyn Bowl for like many, many years. We've loved playing at even Mercury Lounge or, you know, just the Williamsburg venues that we love to play that we've been playing for years. For us, like, it's been 10 years of trying to bring as much as we can to the table. And so every time we've played somewhere, we felt that love. And it's just grown and grown and grown. Definitely. And our most recent New York show actually was opening for Amadou and Miriam, who played on the stage after us here <laughs> yeah. at Brooklyn Steel, um, which was also was awesome. So, experience. yeah. How are you guys so good at conveying feeling and emotion through instrumentals? I think, honestly, that it's a group effort. Every single person who plays in our band has worked to kind of bring simultaneously the melodic sense that conveys that storytelling aspect along with the rhythmic and groove sense so that you still feel as though you're moored to something. You're not just lost in the space of storytelling. Instead, you're able to kind of get hooked in a groove and then feel as though you can kind of let your mind wander and experience what you want to experience without words at all. Right on, and I think that that definitely lends itself to the Bonnaroo stage. All these great new listeners out there, what's the one song you hope new fans hear gives you the sense of your overall vibe? Well, I mean, so we, we have a variety of songs on the new album, but uh, Supermoon is the new single off the album, and I'd say that kind of embodies a lot of the new stuff. Um, there's, there's a lot more on there, too, but that kind of is the general, general vibe. Yeah. I mean, we're here for Sunday Fun Day at Bonnaroo. I mean, the weather has been giving us, like, every season in, in one day. Do you yes. guys prefer the outdoor festival vibe or the more intimate club gig? Outdoor festival seems to bring it. It's just people want to have a good time, want to get down. We love playing to people. We put a lot of work into the music, and we're stoked when people really feel like they're listening to every note. But here, people are listening to every note, and they're feeling like they can just let loose, and that's what we want. That's awesome for us. They really do let loose here yeah. at Bonnaroo. <laughs> no questions asked. Sure. What's up next for y'all after Bonnaroo? Uh, so we, we've uh, been doing a lot of recording towards the next album, so that's like a big thing we've been doing. Um, so that and that'll probably be due out. Uh, we got two 45s coming later this year. Another one in the spring. Album in the spring. Um, aside from that, you know, we got some shows coming up at some concert series outdoors on the beach, in New Jersey. But the um, real, the real big thing and then is, the big thing, yeah. yeah, is Austin City Limits in October. Uh, both weekends on the Saturday will be there, and we're real excited about that. So, now you yeah. mentioned 45s. What are the benefits of releasing music on vinyl? In 2018, there, it's, there's still, there is definitely still a market for it, I would definitely argue. Still, definitely still a market. Um, our bass player and our saxophone player opened a recording studio last year that's completely analog. And so the idea of bouncing our stuff to tape straight up and then having it be pressed to vinyl, the idea that you get that warmth, that complete sound, mm -hmm. for us who are bringing an instrumental cinematic vibe to everything, we want it to be that you can tell a story with anything that you can hear through our music. And the idea of hearing it in its full fidelity, hearing it as wide open as it can possibly be so that you can take in every single element and make it yours, that for us is really special. And when you put it on wax, that's what happens. Definitely. And it's like not pristine and like perfect. It's like got 
grit to it, you know. Flaws are allowed. Flaws Definitely. Are welcome. Yes. I like that. We'll stay tuned for much more from Akiba Shakedown. This is Jackie. Thanks to Chorus FM and in the key of change.